Hello, welcome back for another video on Ark Survival Ascended. The loot crates and loot tables have changed massively. So today we're going to take a detailed look into the loot crates that spawn on the island map by opening up 100 of each loot crate to see where the best loot lies. We've got a lot to look at, so let's get straight into it. Just opened up 100, let's see what we got. Charcoal for days, cloth armor for days, basic resources, cut meat, hide armor, raptor, scorpion, a nice stego saddle actually, that's pretty good. To be fair, I ain't gonna be farming this drop in the mid or end game. That stego saddle is pretty nice though. I think that's clarification to show that they have definitely improved the quality of loot crates. After I opened up 100 of the green drops, here's what we got. I'm not expecting much to be honest. Looks like a slight upgrade. Looks like you've got some nice resources. You've got carbon MS and blueprint there. Looks like you've got crops as well. That's pretty good. Hide armor. Oh, do you mind? I'm trying to loot here. Raptor parasaur. Looks pretty average. Nothing special, but there is a nice stego saddle there. That's okay, but I'm sure you can get better ones in the drops we're going to look at after. 100 blue drops. Here we go. I'm expecting a little upgrade on here. As you can see, it's already upgraded. We've got Anki saddles. Cannons, cementing paste, chitin, armor, which sucks, don't need that. Cut meat jerky, crossbows, first time we've seen crossbow in here. Some of these are pretty good as well. Crystal, fur armor, mammoth saddles, narcotics, pikes, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, spear bolts for days, dagger saddles, stone, four stone, interesting. Stimulant, stone structures, tranks, strike saddles, and wooden structures. So I'm definitely expecting the loot to improve a lot more with the purple. So you got ballista turrets, bunk beds, cement and paste, cannons, beer jar, cut meat jerky, crossbows, one flak item, that's weird, fur armor, ghillie, gunpowder, loads of handcuffs, harpoon launchers, oh long lit rifles, that's what we're looking for. Lesser antidote for all those zombies out there on the beach, gotta get those guys cured up. Obsidian for days, that's pretty good, Paris saddles. Pelt, Tarandon saddles, rare flower, rare mushroom, sap for days, that's good as well. Shotgun, simple pistol, ammo for days, stone arrows, stone structures now. Toilets, more tranks, lovely. Right, let's see what we get from 100 yellow lamb beacons. Straight into that vault. Loads of advanced bullets already. Allosaurus saddle and BPs, ammonite, bile, angler gel, anki saddles, argentavis, basosaurus. This is definitely improved a lot c4 charges canteen beaver saddles crossbows and blueprints daylon saddles fabricated pistols black armor blueprints and pre-made items fur armor gasoline lamppost elevator platforms mama saddle megalania megalosaurus metal shield metal sickles loads of polymer clearly it spoiled a lot because uh, it took me a long time to prep this area this was spawned in probably 10 hours ago so most of it spoiled Pikes, Parasite Platform Saddles, Plesiosaur Saddle, Sabertooth, Sarko, Scuba Gear, Silica Pearls, Phylocolio, Vault, and Woolly Rhino Saddles. Surprisingly, no long necks spotted in here. So that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, let's move on to the next. And here we go, the lamb beacon we've all been waiting for. Let's get in there. Loads of ammo, Allosaurus, Argentavis, Assault Rifle, Auto Turrets, pre-made Auto Turrets. That's crazy. Loads of Bronto platforms. Ooh, carcass saddles. Loads of them as well. Compound bows, Deodon, electronics. That's nice as well. Fab snipers, flak armor BPs, giga saddles. Ooh, heavy auto turret. Industrial cooker, forge, and grinder. Mosasaur platforms, Senate Parasaur platforms, polymer, quet saddles, pump action shotties. Those are kind of ass. I'm sure you can definitely find better. Ooh, wreck saddles. Damn, my voice broke then. That's awesome. Loads of riot gear. Rockets, Silica Pearls, Sweet Veggie Cakes, Final Saddles, Fairy Saddles, Tusa Tufus, Uteranus. So it's official, Red Beacons are now amazing to farm for loot. First cave loot crates we're diving into are going to be the Hard Snow Cave. Starting with the blue crate, which can be unlocked at Survivor level 25. I just got my admin gun out just to show you that I've got the right loot crates here. The Ice Cave Tier 1, so let's get in there. I've opened up 100 plus of these cave loot crates just to hit the nail on the head what we actually gain from them. Not expecting too much from this one. Carno saddles, cooked meat. It would kind of annoy me finding cooked meat in a cave loot crate. But anyway, crossbows, loads of fur armor. Long lit rifles, not that great, but they can still spawn in this crate. Mammoth saddles, megaloceros saddles, megatheriums, metal tools, metal weapons, and some good quality primitive weapons like the simple pistol, sword, 
and look at that torch skin. Damn! 404% damage. Clearly my loot quality is off, but honestly, I've got 0.5 loot quality and stuff's coming out like this, so maybe that needs changing. I don't know, but something's off with the loot quality. Ice Cave Tier 2, Yellow Crate, let's get in there. Bullets, Anki Saddle, Argentavis, Salt Rifles, Carno Saddles, Calicaferium, more cooked meat, that's depressing. Fabricated pistols, flak armor and blueprints. Fur armor and blueprints. You could definitely not get flak out of these uh, snow cave drops before. So this is quite a revelation, I must say. Long lit rifles and blueprints. That is stupid. 607 damage. Yep, 0.5 loot quality that is, guys. As you can see, the loot's pretty good for that one. Although there's 14 stone there. I would be absolutely raging finding stone in one of these crates. And finally, Ice Cave Tier 3, the Red Crate. Let's get in there. I expect good things. This looks pretty good, I must say. Loads of bullets, Ardent Avis, Assault Rifle, Parker Saddles. There's a lot of them, so they're quite common in here. Loads of compound bows, crossbows, Diabear, Deodon, Fabricated Pistols, Fabricated Snipers, Flak Armor, Long Neck Rifles, Metal arrows, pikes, loads of ascendant shotguns, riot armor for days, quetz saddles, quetz platforms, rockets, basic bitch shotgun, ascendant sword, Arizinosaurus saddle blueprints, and phyla saddle blueprints. Trike, Uteranus, damn that dropped some hefty loot. These were basically like deep sea loot crates before, so this has changed completely. Next cave is going to be the Swamp Cave. Starting off with the blue crates, which can be opened at survivor level 25. Swamp Cave tier 1. Damn, you can get ascendant crossbows from these and blueprints. Fur armor, ghillie armor, metal tools, metal weapons, on saddle, civil pistols, strike saddle. It seems pretty basic, that one. But still, pretty good loot nonetheless. Plomp Cave Tier 2, the yellow crate. Loads of bullets, Allosaurus, Anki, Assault Rifle, this one's looking much better. Crossbows and blueprints, fabricated pistols, flak armor, ghillie armor, fur armor, log neck rifle and blueprints. Metal sickles and blueprints, brand on saddles, Paris saddles, shotguns, Dego saddle and blueprints, and 10 stone. Lovely. Swamp Cave Tier 3, I'm expecting good things. Woo! Loads of bullets, Allosaurus, Anki, Salt Rifle, Bronto platforms, Pom Pom bows, Fabricated pistols, Fabricated snipers, Flak armor for days, Gilly armor, Giga saddles, ooh, nice. There's a lot as well, so they must be quite common. All net rifles and blueprints, Paris saddles, Pump action shotties, Rex saddles, ooh, Riding and Naffa saddles as well, nice. Quite a few of those also. Riot gear, rockets, shotguns, swords, ammo, and the 16 stone, the most important loot in the game. Minus the stone, this is by far the best loot crate we've opened so far. And if any of you have played ASC, you might remember that this is the loot crate that was well known for dropping structure blueprints more than anything else. Well, it's changed now, I'll tell you that. This might be the cave to run. Moving on to the two underwater caves, starting off with the blue crate, which can be opened at survivor level 50. These are most likely the best loot crates in the game from ASE, so we'll have to see how they stack up in this game. So back on ASE, you could actually find wreck saddles and flak armor in these blue and yellow crates. Obviously on this game, it doesn't matter because you can find flak in both of these by the looks of it now. Let's see what we get. Still looking pretty good though, like way better than the blue and yellow crates from the other caves. I'm just going to point out what's new and what stands out from other crates. Argentavis saddles, Baryonyx, Basilosaurus, C4, loads of chitin armor which is depressing because I hate chitin armor, they never spawned in these crates before, so that's a downside to that. Compound bows, Danon saddles, fabricated sniper rifles for days by the way, black armor for days, clearly these are the best for higher quality weapons and armor. Megalodon saddles, metal shields and blueprints, Paris of platform saddles and blueprints, loads of pump action shotties, that's what you like to see. Stego saddles for days, Phylocolia saddles and trike saddles. Underwater Cave Tier 2, the Yellow Crate. Let's get in there. I kind of expect the same loot from all of these, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. It is looking more of the same. We've got flak armor, obviously. We've got weapons for days, arrows of platforms, pump action shotties. There's a lot more scuba gear in here by the looks of it. More stegos adders, filers, all that stuff. That's honestly pretty much the same as the blue crate. Finally, the Underwater Cave Tier 3, the Red Crate. It doesn't look any different from the others. So far, it's still loads of flak armor, though. Like, that's a lot of flak armor and fabricated snipers and more fabricated weapons, I'm guessing. Do get a lot of Mosul platform saddles in here, though. Paris of platforms, SC platforms, pump action shotties, loads of scuba gear, spino saddles for days, stego saddles for days, 
Is there a wreck saddle that I missed? Got to be a wreck saddle in here, right? Ah, there you go. Two wreck saddles, so you can still find wreck saddles in here. I'm surprised I didn't see them in the other one, though. But that red drop didn't actually blow me away as much as I thought it would. Let's see, I think the blue and yellow underwater crates are better. And here we are, the famous deep sea loot crate. Let's see what we can find. For some strange reason, everything's apprentice, journeyman, ramshackle, and one mass craft item. I don't know what that's all about, but as you can see, this doesn't look very good. But you can find flak armor underwater now. What else can you find that's different? Long neck rifles, they weren't in deep sea loot crates. And you definitely couldn't find wreck saddles in deep sea loot crates, but uh, well, that was underwhelming. Honestly, if this table for deep sea loot crates doesn't change, then I'm never going to farm deep sea loot crates ever again. Terrible loot quality. What is going on? I guess uh, deep sea loot crates ain't the way these days, but you can find a wreck saddle potentially in them. And a Rhinian Alpha saddle, by the way, I forgot I'd missed that one. I'm going to briefly talk about the generic crates that spawn in the rest of the caves. Truthfully, they're not worth the trouble, all the time for that matter, as the yellow and reds are the only ones ones worth picking up. However, they do have low spawn rates in the caves that they're meant to spawn in. The yellows do have potential to drop half decent loot, and the reds can actually drop pretty good loot. But that being said, going out your way to find one of these red drops in the other caves can be more trouble than it's worth when you can visit the other three caves we showcased in this video and have three potential high tier loot crate spawns in one cave alone. That's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it's helpful to you. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care. Goodbye.